All right, YouTube, hello. Let me get right to the heart of the matter here. I'm actually a voiceover guy. I do voiceovers, and I've been doing them for decades. And with the advent of AI, I became concerned, obviously, about my role in the voiceover business going forward. So I decided to help myself by joining forces with one of the major AI voice platforms. And so far, I've been doing pretty good with it. However, I noticed something the other day, found it quite by accident, and it really uh, took my breath away. <laughs> Pardon the pun. But uh, here's, here's what I found. Let me just play you these samples first, and then I'll tell you where I found them and how I uh, generated them absolutely free of charge with a platform that very few people seem to be talking about. Here we go. George came quietly out of the brush. George said quietly, What the hell you yelling about? Lenny got up on his knees. You ain't gonna leave me, are you, George? I know you ain't. George came stiffly near and sat down beside him. No, I knowed it, Lenny cried. You ain't that kind. George was silent. Lenny said, George, yeah, I done another bad thing. It don't make no difference, George said, and he fell silent again. Only the topmost ridges were in the sun now. The shadow in the valley was blue and soft. From the distance came the sound of men shouting to one another. George turned his head and listened to the shouts. Take a listen to this one. The notion that our world was being examined with the same detached curiosity as one might study the minuscule life within a droplet of water was beyond the comprehension of the people of the time. Slowly, methodically, these beings of superior knowledge weaved their plans, fueled by an insatiable thirst for the beauty and wonder of our world. As the shadows of their intent crept ever closer, humanity continued on in blissful ignorance, unaware of the tragedy that loomed on the horizon. Here's another male voice. Keep in mind, completely free. I never meant to break his thumb. All I wanted was a ride in the elevator. The burnished brass doors were no more than 10 feet away when I was gently nudged toward the right. Pardon me, I began. He was a big beefy kid with a flat top smelling of scented soap and Aramis. He kept pushing, his blue blazer now locked on my elbow, his big chest bending my path steadily toward the right, toward the stairs, away from the elevators. I planted my right foot and swung back only to find myself nose to nose with another one. African-American this time. Otherwise, same blazer, same size, same grimace. What's the problem, fellas? No problem, said Flattop. You just come along with us? I stood my ground. What for? I said with a smile. And one last one, another female voice. I stood in the shadows of a deserted shop front across from the Blood and Brew pub, trying not to be obvious as I tugged my black leather pants back up where they belonged. I, this is pathetic, I thought, eyeing the rain-emptied street. I was way too good for this. Apprehending unlicensed and black art witches was my usual line of work, as it takes a witch to catch a witch. But the streets were quieter than usual this week. Everyone who could make it was at the West Coast for our yearly convention, leaving me with this gem of a run, a simple snag and drag. It was just the luck of the turn that had put me here in the dark and rain. Now, obviously, I've added music here to help carry the load and the story a little bit, but it gives you an idea of what things can sound like using these voices when it's produced. Now, as I said, each one of these voices, and there's about uh, four or five more that I haven't included here. I think that's correct. But these come from a site known as Pi, P-I. And it's used more for conversation with the user and to act as a companion for the user than it is for 
creating narrations for audiobooks and that sort of thing. But I found that simply by coaching it and telling it what you want and describing emotion and those kinds of things, you can get it to sound pretty darn natural. And this is coming from a guy that does voiceover work for a living. So I think you should check it out. Uh, not that you should desert other platforms that are trying to make money, but so far, Pi doesn't charge anything. And you can use it for quite a few um, jobs for narrations and whiteboard presentations and audiobooks and things like that. So there you have it. The website is pi.ai. P-I dot A-I. Enjoy!